we're going to have to simplify all of this. So I'm going to do it step by step. So tan of negative x. Let's start there. So if we look on our cast diagram, we know that we have 180 minus x, 180 plus x, and 360 minus x. We don't have a minus x. And what a lot of students do is they put the negative outside as a common factor, but that is completely wrong. What you want to do instead, remember I've told you this in a lot of the previous videos or questions, is that when this angle is not the same as any of these, then you can modify it by either adding 360 or minusing 360. So I'm going to add 360. Now when you add, order doesn't matter. So I can switch this around to 360 minus x. And so I can see that this is on my diagram, and so I can say that this is now equal to tan x. Wait, why am I squashing everything? Let me move this somewhere else. Give me a second, guys. And so we can say that that's tan x. But tan is negative in that quadrant, so we'll put that as a negative. Now, remember, some I said in the previous question, some students panic with that little 2 over there. Don't worry about the 2. Just think about it as cos of 180 minus x. Now, that is on the cos diagram, so we can say cos x. But then cos is negative in that quadrant, so we'll put a little negative. Now, let's remember that there was a 2, but you don't have to put the 2 there. It's a bit awkward over there. What you can do instead is you can open up a bracket and put the 2 like that. And so you open up the bracket and put the 2 like that. Now, a negative cos x multiplied by a negative cos x is going to become a positive cos squared x. And then the next little part is cos 360 minus 2x. Now, 360 minus any type of angle is on our diagram. And so we know that sin of 360 minus 2x is just going to become sin of 2x. If it was 360 minus 7x, then it will just become sin of 7x. But something I'm nearly forgot to mention was that sin is negative in that quadrant, in this um, cos quadrant. So we'll put a little negative in the front. And so what we have so far is the following. The tan one became negative tan x. The cos one became cos squared x. And then at the bottom, we have negative sin 2x. So straight away, these negatives are going to cancel. So I'm just going to ignore those. What we like to do is we're always going to switch tan to sin over cos. Okay. And then tan is always sin over cos. And then at the bottom, we just have sin 2x. Okay. So what you should see now is that this cos x here would cancel with one of these causes because there's two of them over there. And so would cross out that little two. And so on the next line, I'm just going to rewrite everything. We would have sin x multiplied by cos x over sin 2x. Now, I cannot explain how many times I've seen students who try cancel these two. But that is not correct at all. It doesn't work that way. But what you need to realize instead is that this is a double angle. Can you see that it's this one over here? And so what happens is that at the top, we just have sin x times cos x. Then at the bottom, we're going to change it to 2 sin x cos x. And so what happens now is that this sin cancels with that, and this cos cancels with that. And so at the top, we left with 1, because there's nothing really there. So we just say 1, and then at the bottom, we have a 2. And so the final answer is 1 over 2.